Malaysia, stay with us. We are going to tell you more about the Eco Film Fest and what is it all about? We've got two very gorgeous stay, uh, guests in the studio, so stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Ali Shalom Hot, coming back to you. Yes, we just got thanked for the compliment, Annie. <laughs> I know. I should have said that. No, you. Well, anyway, let's oh, bring him okay. on. Okay. Just take it as it came from Terence. Yes. <laughs> All right. We have, of course, in the studios, Miss Yasmin Rashid, founder and director <laughs> of Eco Nights. Mm -hmm. And, of course, next to Yasmin is Siti Fatima, executive director, Octagon Consolidated Berhad. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Gorgeous ladies. Thank, Thank you, you so for having us. us. Now you go happen. again with the gorgeous. You should, you should just jump in. No, yeah, I, I wanted to, but you stole okay, my eyeline. I'll, I'll gorgeous. <laughs> so I can't use that anymore. Well, anyway, uh, looking good in green today. Thank you. Hence the theme, eco. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That was a good one. I didn't realize it. You didn't realize yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I thought you planned it. <laughs> well, tell us a bit about Eco Nights, first of all. Yeah. Annie, was think Annie was saying it's a really cool name. I know, Nights as in K and I, G H T S. I mean, that's, that's beautiful. I think that's why I think we've been slowly being heard out there. Yeah. Um, Eco Nights is an environmental organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were formed about almost close to three years ago, mm -hmm. doing a lot of grassroots community and children. Um, awareness workshops on environment mm -hmm. and uh, early this year my team and I sat together over Te Tarik. <laughs> And it's always that a mama stole exactly. over Tarik. Best ideas it? come out Best there. Ideas, Should have exactly. invented something. Yeah. Um, that, I mean, we all like films mm -hmm. um, and we've all watched Inconvenient Truth, 11th yeah. Hour. But when we look back at how we want to reach out to a broader audience, especially a local audience, mm -hmm. we like local content. Mm. Yeah. Um, and films are the best way to actually send a message That's true. out, yeah. especially if you have a creative or interesting mm. one. And hence, Eco Film Fest was launched in May mm -hmm. um, to all Malaysians to participate. Mm -hmm. uh, at this junction in time, we now have our finalist videos which we will be airing for free mm -hmm. over the whole weekend Fantastic. and uh, we'll announce the winners on Sunday. Wow. See, wow. Yeah. Now, how is Octagon Consolidated in, involved in, in something like this? How, how did you get yourself involved? Were you there for the Titari as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, unfortunately we were not there at the Titari session but uh, Octagon Consolidated Berhad uh, embarks on waste to energy. We ah. are into the renewable energy. Yeah. Uh, we are into alternative energy. Oh, okay. And uh, that is what uh, basically we're doing and how we're getting involved. And we are sponsoring as far as Eco Nights is concerned and we believe in what they are doing as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, awareness in terms of waste to energy now, because it's a major problem in Malaysia. That's mm -hmm. right. It's a major problem all over the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, landfill and uh, the orthodox way is not the right way to deal with waste at the point in time. Mm. So when you're talking about dealing in a sophisticated way, it's, it's expensive. So you require a private sector participation mm. in terms of getting rid of the waste. Mm. Okay, now let's get into the Eco Film Fest. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about this, how long it's going on, what, how's your participation been and what are the theme that you're looking at? Uh, the theme is climate change, mm -hmm. a call for action. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, with Crusaders like Octagon coming in, I think uh, all our partners are fitting in very nicely. We all yeah. have our own green agenda, mm -hmm. our own green theme. Mm -hmm. um, as to what's going to happen over the weekend, um, we're going to show, be showing movies non-stop, basically it will be a movie marathon mm -hmm. uh, all throughout the weekend. Mm -hmm. And we have, we'll be showcasing the local films, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as well as four other films that has never been seen in Asia before. Okay. And they have been winning a lot of awards internationally. And we're talking right. about environmental films like Who Killed the Electric Car, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Kilowatt Hours, mm -hmm. Garbage Revolution, and some of them have a little bit of comedy in it. So it's quite easy on the audience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, most important of all, it's all free. Mm -hmm. um, on part, apart from that, for that two days, we're going to try to make everyone eat only organic. We have a cafe that is set up with oh, organic wow. laksa. Okay. Organic <laughs> really laksa. Organic laksa. Organic nasi ulam. I'm looking at the Ecolicious here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Major Ecolicious here. Look at this one. Organic food, cooking demonstration. Yeah. Woods, microbiotics, cooking demonstration. It's it's amazing. A yeah. whole load of a whole lot of stuff here that you, you can get from this flyer. It's, it's yeah. very interesting because you actually have a green space shop till you drop with a wide range of household green gadgets. I like yeah. that. So like oh, stuff yeah. that people have always 
thought of buying or are buying from the internet from a foreign country, yeah, yeah. we're actually bringing them all together in one Fantastic. venue where you can get it much cheaper mm -hmm. and you get to actually touch and feel it yeah. because it's mm -hmm. you got to see it to believe it. Yeah, yes. of course. Yeah, so this is, this is eco friendly a, a, diapers, for instance, you know, stuff eco friendly like diapers. <laughs> Mama's out there, yeah. got eco friendly diapers. There you go. I think oh, you need yeah. to listen to that. <laughs> you know, with your name, Eco Nights, major crusade that you guys are doing, how has the response been for your film fest itself? Um, do you see a lot more the because I understand that you're reaching out to the younger generation, so do you see a lot more response? coming in amazing response from mm -hmm. the younger generation I mean we are a nonprofit uh, outfit um, and to make this work we mm -hmm. had a flood of volunteers coming in I mm -hmm. mean in one day we sent out a mass email and we could get like 124 volunteers wow. overnight Fantastic. which actually demonstrates that there are actually younger kids out there right. who actually either feel for the cause mm -hmm. or who have just really high volunteer spirit mm -hmm. and I think this is hopefully we could set a new wave mm -hmm. for the next generation to not just volunteer but volunteer with a very good cause at heart. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have an age limit for your volunteers? Uh, well, uh, well, not really. We've got as young as 15 and 16. Okay, we, we, we qualify. <laughs> yeah, you qualify. We qualify. Yeah, we qualify. Yeah, we qualify. Hard, so yes. you, Mr. Rama, and Tom, Please. and everyone out there. <laughs> I know. Uh, have you had some of these green stuff yet? No? <laughs> you sound like you do. Well, anyway, um, let's talk about... Um, we have a call in line? Yes, we, we do. We do have a call in line. Okay, so before we get into yeah, that question, okay. we have a call in the line. Let's take a call. Good morning. Hiya, Tom. Hi, good morning Welcome back. again. Yes. Now, I believe all, all these uh, eco campaigns uh -huh. are very, very good. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, but uh, apparently we are facing an upstream battle here. Mm, that's why they're the eco nights. convert people's mindset and thinking. Mm -hmm. And Yasmin, take a look at the picture at the back of you. Mm. All right? <laughs> that, that's a real eco jungle out there. <laughs> and, sure it's and not none of the buildings, none of the buildings uh, so solar powered. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Simple yes. as that. Mm -hmm. Now one of the one of the most basic thing, we can't even convince the government <laughs> to stop using plastic bags in hypermarts and supermarts. That's mm. right. Now how do you convince someone to use a eco diaper? <laughs> so that's an upstream thing, you know. That's why it's really good that you come in and keep on pressing on this issue mm -hmm. yeah and that's a good job thanks thank Tom. you thank you well, Tom, well, Tom, with, uh, you know if you've not heard about the fact that we say we start at grassroots level this is major grassroots start them on young at diapers and you get yes. them going on that. <laughs> as far as diapers are concerned i believe they should be more husband friendly than eco-friendly both you can work on husband friendly later what's wrong with diapers it's so easy come on okay never mind let's move on let's let's talk about what tom said no we've got a lot of these um initiatives going on yeah. internationally you know, mm -hmm. don't use plastic bags mm -hmm. right. try to drive an electric car to work yeah, and right. try to walk so how do we get that going here in Malaysia we've started at the grassroots what do you think we need to do for that well as far as myself is concerned I always believe in leading by exemplary mm -hmm. yeah. so I am using bags Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. You know, and uh, whenever I go to the supermarket, I use it. Yeah. Ah. And uh, when I will, you buy coal stuff, you have your coal bags. That's right. And I get a lot of uh, feedback or uh, response from the other shoppers as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and uh, that is uh, one way for you to actually. Um, Go, go ahead with doing this. Promoting you know? it. Uh, yeah, yeah, giving the awareness it. out there. Correct. That's true because Correct. if somebody sees you carrying a it, bag... It just has to do by example. That's right. Even if you go and pack food, then you use your own Tupperware. Yeah. And that's, that actually helps as well. Yes. Uh, now, speaking of, take, just taking away what Tom had mentioned mm -hmm. about what's behind us right now, which is very true. Mm -hmm. A lot of the major companies do not have eco-friendly uh, areas, not even workspaces. They don't even promote the greens, meaning yeah. having a little, you know, mm -hmm. green garden in the office. It's yeah. always just bricks and jungle and jungle and bricks out there. How would Eco Nights be able to influence this and maybe make a change to this? Uh, or even if you can, uh, you know, with fellow crusader? Well, I, I truly believe that if there's demand, there's always supply. Mm -hmm. And I think what happens is if we start at a grassroots level and start educating Malaysians, especially the younger ones, mm -hmm. and get them to demand what is right for the environment, mm -hmm. and at least we're, we're uh, taking little baby mm -hmm. steps yep. to it, something that's more positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's good. I mean, it's not easy. Yeah, um, it's never been easy. It's not easy, and I don't even know if if I'll probably be doing this for the rest of my life. I mean, I'm fine with it. Good for but you. But I just hope that uh, the other corporate sectors would, <clears throat> instead of doing 
Greenwashing. <clears throat> yeah. They'll actually practice it. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that, practice that's when important. They that's right. Because we always see a lot of huge mock check presentations yeah. for mm -hmm. this and that, but we rarely see it implemented at the corporate uh, so social responsibility level. That's they don't true. really do it. They just you know, give the cash and then say, okay, we're donating this to an environmental cause, but we are not practicing it here in our that's company. Right. How do we get that kind of mindset going? You see, you must look at the whole population mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. The young generation, about 18 and below, constitute about 15 to 20 percent of all the population. All right. mm -hmm. When it comes to education, you have to educate the children. Mm -hmm. That's and right. these are the future leaders. That's right. Now, if we are not doing anything now, mm -hmm. you know, for the next generation, you know, it's they cannot start. Start with the eco-friendly baby diapers. Yes. Again and again, the you baby know, diapers. It's the, it's the children that's very important to be educated now and awareness that's right. in terms of uh, the climate change, mm -hmm. even the... Uh, what the, they can yes, do exactly. and they learn from young. Now, we're seeing something on screen right yeah, now. Yeah, these are snippets uh, from the films that we were talking about. Yeah, uh, it's very film interesting film how this man was going around the entire kitchen switching on every single, single switch he can find. <laughs> and that's a reach. typical Malaysian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we pants, certainly hope not. TV, you're <laughs> Yeah. You know, I'm surprised he's sitting with a paper and not sitting in front of a computer. Yeah. Uh, now, the other thing I need to ask you this is, Yasmin, how challenging has this been for you? I mean, uh, I know Eco Nights, it's, it's not easy trying to promote go green, you know, environment when mindset has not changed. And now that you're working with Octagon, being a private company, um, how do you then reach out to, let's say, the government? Uh, that's the major big player that we need to reach into. Where do you, how do you bring that awareness to the government or have you even tried? I've tried. I've been try I've been I've been in, in, in I've been in the environment industry for the last twelve years mm -hmm. and I'm still trying. Mm -hmm. And I think it's an endless battle. That's why we're always crusading for the environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, through films, I think. I mean I I've done the whole talk to government, talk to private sectors, talk to communities, talk to children. And now we're trying something different through mm -hmm. films. Mm -hmm. And we hope that through films, we can touch more hearts and mm -hmm. reach out to more people and get them to buy in on our, and join our bandwagon mm -hmm. in, in our efforts. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, before we get carried away with the green message, let's not forget about the <laughs> film message that we're sending true, out that's today. That's true. So when and where will we be showing and screening these yeah. films? It will be November 1st and 2nd mm -hmm. at the National Arts and Culture Academy, or mm -hmm. Aswara. Mm -hmm. It's located uh, behind Padang Merbok, mm -hmm. 464 Jalantuni Ismail. Mm -hmm. And it starts at 10. And it ends at sunset because we don't want to use too much electricity. Right. So by 7, 7.30, it's, it's over. It's over. Okay. Yeah. So what, what can the public expect during this? I mean, besides the films, is there anything else that you're doing, like yeah, talks or, we, or gadgets and stuff like that? We'll be having a couple of uh, organic cooking workshops. Yep. just to The ecolicious kind of thing. Yeah, just yep. to get people interested in, in, in the alternative way of healthier living. Mm -hmm. And then we have some activities for children. Mm -hmm. And then there's this whole range of exhibition mm -hmm. by private sectors, by people who in the green industry mm -hmm. so you can get to actually see for yourself what sort of local 100% local Malaysian technology is out there mm -hmm. that advocates uh, um, a greener healthier living okay. on top of that all the performances are also done unplugged Oh. So, uh, you know, we minimize it, everything is done acoustic style. Fantastic. So it, it basically is a chill out weekend by the lawn, mm -hmm. watch some films, eat some healthy food mm -hmm. and hopefully get educated along True. the way. And the new mamas get some eco-friendly baby diapers. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, I'm sure you'll be the first one in line when they start giving those out for free. Actually, I don't need any baby diapers anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you'll be getting some anyway. I would for my friends, yes. <laughs> it makes a good present, I think. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Nice and we have Doreen and, and Soraya to give That's something. That's right, there you go. You're getting baby diapers week friendly, I don't care. That's it. <laughs> uh, as a company that, that's basically focused on renewable energy and so, right. what are your practices within the company that you would say are, are exemplary and people should follow suit? Uh, to start off with is actually the technology application that we have studied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, when you're talking about uh, dealing with waste, mm -hmm. um, all sorts of ways because we deal with municipal solid waste, we deal with industrial and hazardous waste, mm -hmm. we deal with waste tyres. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually practice it because the infrastructure is big. Mm. Mm. So what you do is you do research, you go engineering, you look at the cost and uh, you look at the revenue stream to make all this economic 
feasible mm. in terms of areas of business and also humankind. Yeah. Mm. You know, so because the capital expenditure for each project is it's very high. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you're looking at uh, all over the country, the municipal and the government of all over the world, they cannot afford it. The financial resources for all these kind of projects is very expensive. Ooh. That's wow. why the private sectors have to come and play a role. Mm -hmm. But to educate is just like how you use a cell phone. It becomes smaller as yeah. it's dynamic. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So if you're talking about where we are now, mm -hmm. We are from landfill, we went to sanitary landfill, we went to Stoker, which is incineration. So the next step, what we have, Octagon have, mm -hmm. is actually a no burn process whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We don't provide any emissions out the air. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, uh, it's all within a permissible level. Mm -hmm. And we have got a plan that's coming up in Westport mm -hmm. where we take waste tires, mm -hmm. 120 tonne per day, and we convert that into a pyrolysis technology and we get recovered oil, mm -hmm. carbon black, steel and a non-condensable gas that we use back in the plant. Wow, oh, Wow! that's just really recycling just, everything, okay. it's amazing. Yes, you know? <laughs> I mean, and the best part about this uh -huh. is uh, uh, we get the waste tires, we put mm -hmm. it uh, a proposal to the government as well because at the moment, uh, in terms of uh, Malaysia, we don't have a system in collection of tires. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you very much, yeah. you guys, for joining us. And once again, if you guys are going to go and check this out, don't forget it's at the Academy Seni Budaya dan Warisan Kebangsaan or Aswara. Mm -hmm. And it'll be held Saturday, Sunday, November the 1st. First and second, 2008, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Admission is free. That's right, get it. It's free. You get your baby diapers, you get everything. Eco gadgets, whatever. Eco licious baby food. Diapers. <laughs> All right. With well. baby diapers. Man. Thank you very much, the two Thank of you, for Thank coming you in. Thank you, Thank you, Annie. We wish you all the best. And, Thank you. Uh, you know, really, we wish you all the best for, for whatever that's coming up. And it's, it's an absolutely noble cost in what you're doing. Thank you. All right. All right, now. Malaysia, maybe, hopefully, today you will not waste more than one kilogram of waste because that's how much we produce every day, apparently. One yep. kilogram of waste per day. So let's cut that in half maybe today. Get your bags, go shopping, try to do your best, uh, get Tupperwares, whatever, Malaysia. Meanwhile, peace and out. Bye-bye.